Today's games wrap up the first KBO series this week. Three teams, the Lions, Tigers, and Heroes, will be going for the sweep, while the Bears and Wyverns both will look to bounce back from disappointing Game 2 losses after dominant Game 1 victories. The totals for today skew towards the offense as two games have totals greater than 10, while there's only one game with a total less than 9.5. The Bears at minus 152 and the Heroes at minus 260 are the only road favorites. Looking back at yesterday's scores, we saw only three teams score eight or more runs, the same number of teams that were only able to put up exactly two runs on the board. The Red Hot Wyverns finally had their five-game win streak come crashing down at the hands of the 19-6 NC Dinos. The Samsung Lions scored 12 runs on their victory over the second place LG Twins, as the Lions now have scored 30 runs in their last four games. First, we're looking at the Kiwoom Heroes Hanwha Eagles game. With their loss yesterday, Hanwha now officially has taken over sole possession of the last place spot in the KBO. At 7 and 19 and on a 10 game losing streak, I don't see how things are getting going to get any better for this Hanwha team as they now face KBO MVP candidate Eric Jokic. Jokic has allowed only 3 earned runs this entire season. Uh, has also struck out 27 batters. The Eagles have one of the worst offenses, and for that reason, I'm going to have to take the Heroes on the money line. Next, Drew Rosinski and the NC Dinos look to win the series against the suddenly powerful SK Wyverns. I'm going with the Dinos on the money line and the under. The Dinos have the best team ERA, and Rosinski has only given up four runs in his past three starts. In each, he's thrown at least six innings while not allowing a single home run and just two walks. I think he'll be dominant against the Wyverns that really has only one real win in that five-game winning streak they were just on. In the third game, we have the Lotte Giants facing off against Aaron Brooks and the Kia Tigers. The Tigers have the better record, but I think the Giants have a decent chance of a win tonight. The Tigers haven't been able to pull off a series sweep in the last three series, while Brooks has only completed seven innings once in his five starts. Brooks didn't walk a single batter or allow a home run in his first three starts, but now in his last two, he has five walks and Two home runs allowed. I like the Giants with the runs and the over eight and a half runs. Today's daily fantasy must start is again Mel Rojas Jr. Rojas is on a eight game hitting streak and is again facing a horrible Deuce and Bears pitching staff. Rojas went three for five with three RBIs last night and I expect him to continue to beat up on a Deuce team that Rojas has at least one hit in every game he's played against them this year. Speaking of Rojas Jr., he's been climbing the KBO home run leaderboards as he hit his eighth home run last night as well. Jared Hoying and Preston Tucker also went deep in their respective games last night. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment with your five best picks for today's KBO action for your chance to be a sh on a shout out on tomorrow's video for more KBO coverage. Check out rotowire.com and for the best KBO online community, follow us on Twitter at rotowirekbo.